would like to share with you my design team project for my shared crafts. I used my Cricut Expression to cut this word book and I also used my Plantain School book and my storybook cartridges for the shapes. The paper that I used is from Graphic 45's Christmas Past. It's a beautiful vintage themed paper and I found it very appropriate to use for this particular project. I used some floral trim that I got from a local fabric store to cover the edges of my binding and I used my bind it all to bind the whole album. And I also used flowers from Prima and some leaves and I just stickled the edges to make it more sparkly and on the center of my flowers are some microbeads from Martha Stewart. On the first page of my mini album is a small pocket that I made by just folding over a piece of paper and adding some ribbon at the top part. I also punched a couple of holes and added some brads to keep it secure and I punched some tags from the paper pack and just added ribbon and some fiber. And this ticket is from Tim Holtz. I inked and chalked the edges to age it. On my old page are a couple of frames from Making Memories and I added some copper colored ink that I dabbed along the sides to add more sparkle and texture. And this is another tag that I punched out from the paper pack and I just threaded some fiber and added some round stickers from Cloud9. I got the stickers from Joanne and these crystals are from the dollar bin at Michael's. Along the bottom part of this page is some paper lace from K and Company. At the back of the letter O is a small flat page that I embellished using some images of Santa that I got from the paper pack. And I added some stickles and some liquid pearls to add some texture and dimension. And I could just put pictures on these squares there. And if I'm brave enough, then maybe I could cover Santa, but I prefer not to at this point. And this is a photo holder from Seven Gypsies. And this sparkly sticker is from KI. I cut this shape using my Spellbinders die and I added stickles to the image of Santa and the bear and this image is also from the paper pack. I just trimmed along the edge and I added stickles to the angels and another Tim Holtz ticket is peeking along the edge of the pocket. This sticker is from KI Company. And I made a folder for the back of the e-page. This image is from the paper pack again and this is actually the reverse frame of this image. And I thought that the contrast between gold, black, and green would be very appealing instead of the tan colored reverse. This sticker is from Jolie's Boutique and I added some crystals from Prima. And when you open this folder, you can see that what I did was I just folded the paper over and trimmed about an inch at the bottom part and another couple of inches at the top part. And I cut a notch to make opening and closing the folder so much easier and I just glued the edges and I added some red stickers from KI. For my last page, I used my cartridges from Cricut. I used the ornamental iron, my Noel cartridge, and my heritage cartridge. I have the gypsy cut files in my blog and you can download it if you want to so that the dimensions will be perfect for this particular word book. I also have the cut files there for the whole word book. So 
if you want you can just download it and have fun crafting you don't have to worry about all the proportions because everything is figured out these stickers are from KI and again I used more crystals from the dollar bin at Michaels I have the door from my Noel cart and I just used chalk to add shadows along the paints and some flower soft to decorate the loops of the iron gate and my lamp post and I also wanted to have garland on top of the door. This metal sticker brand is actually from Hobby Lobby. I added a couple of windows and these are actually pockets I could put tags there. I pop dotted my windows and I also added chalk on the window panes to add depth to the windows. And this tinsel is from Hobby Lobby. And if you look closely, you will see that there are some transparencies on this particular page. What I did was I just recycled the packaging from my spell binders. I trimmed it and then I used glossy accents to attach it to this page. At least I will have more pockets for my tags and my pictures. And I covered the back of my word book with some paper that I trimmed to form this rectangle. I used two different types of paper from Graphic 45's Christmas Pack. And I have more stickers from KI and another image of Santa. So that concludes this video for this word book and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will enjoy your Christmas. Merry Christmas!